know. I don't know. I, I, uh, I feel for Dan. He's being scrutinized here. That's right. I, I love you, Dan, and I, I accept you that. for who you are. <laughs> Yes. Hey, how about Farnsworth Peak? Uh, we're looking down into the Salt Lake Valley and it's ebbing and flowing of the nasty soup. As the sun went down last night, though, we did see some clearing at the southeast side and south end of the Salt Lake Valley. So the soup is still out there, but we have seen some clearing at the south end of Salt Lake Valley and into Utah Valley. Yesterday, though, this is textbook inversion. Look at Salt Lake City at the airport. 32 degrees was all we got for a high. The elevation of Salt Lake City, 4226, so about 4,200 feet above sea level. Alta, 49 was their high yesterday. That's, what, that's 4,500 feet higher than what the Salt Lake Valley sits at. They're almost at 9,000 feet, folks. It's a ski resort. We're supposed to be getting colder with height. No, it's an inversion. It's the opposite. High pressure uh, over Texas and New Mexico right now. It's starting to wane to the east, but still we feel its presence. Low pressure is going to scoot on into British Columbia, completely missing Utah. But it will send in a couple of waves here of energy, one of them today at 6 o'clock, a couple of showers in the mountains. We probably won't see much from these little waves that scoot through, but what they're going to do is help erode some of the inversion. This is 11 a.m. on Wednesday. Little disturbance moving on through. That could help churn the air. These aren't guaranteed clear outs, but what they're going to do is they're going to help chip away and chew away at the inversion like we saw yesterday evening. 43 in Delta, 52 in Manti. Down to the southern half, we've got some of us under clouds today. Some of us will see more sunshine, but mild temps nonetheless. 29 in Montpelier, that's all you get for a high, not even the freezing mark. Heber City, Park City, Morgan Valley in the 40s, Sandy and Provo in the 40s, but Salt Lake to Ogden, you're stuck in the muck in the 30s. 60s for the next three days in St. George will then dip off with a chance for showers on Saturday, 53. How about Christmas Day? 46 degrees. Wasatch Front, 30s. Smog through the next several days. But again, as I showed you, a couple of disturbance could chip away at the inversion. Best chance to clear is Saturday. Right now, dry on Christmas, partly cloudy, 37. All right. Could be a pretty crazy.